look, uh, uh, a building on Fifth Avenue with the doorman from hell and that beady-eyed neighbor in the lobby. Nikolai? Oh, he's not half bad for a Euro trash gigolo. <laughs> that woman he was with had to be twice his age. Now, I actually heard him call her money. Well, she did adopt him. That element. <laughs> Between you and me, I've seen livelier faces at Madame Tussauds. Are you saying I live in the wax works like Sunset Boulevard? I wouldn't go that far. I'm still big. <laughs> it's the music that got small. <laughs> It's not always easy to tell. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad I got you out. Uh, there goes my reputation as a recluse. Anyway, what's the point of being reclusive when the public doesn't even notice you've gone? Did my watch stop? You realize a restoration like this normally takes days. Uh, normality is one vice I've managed to avoid. <laughs> Would you like some more strudel? I think I have maybe <coughs> six types of toxic chemicals on my hands. gelatinous cubes we had at dinner. Tofu. <laughs> My wife is into macrobiotics this month. A happy homemaker? I wouldn't say that. She isn't happy? Well, she isn't a homemaker. <laughs> She's a composer. Well, aspiring. She studied with Mr. Chesky. Vladimir? He was quite the ladies' man in his day. Vlad the Impaler, we call him. He was 90 years old, on a walker. She's very talented. Her cello composition won a national contest. It's funny that it didn't come up at dinner. Oh, no, it wouldn't. She's very modest, and you're kind of... Not. Well, your resume can be a bit... Intimidating. Tell me, how did you finally familiarize yourself with my intimidating past? The internet? Oh. You're rather exposed. A sonority of tone. Ah, yes, New York Times. My Carnegie Hall debut. Critics like to point out my tone. Wasn't always a compliment. I guess they thought that for a woman. Wasn't ladylike? Oh, to hell with it. I've always had a big toe. I'm an old-fashioned romantic. Ah, these young musicians today treat a violin like it was a, a porcelain figurine, as if it would crash into a thousand pieces at the merest touch. Where I come from, a violin is first a folk instrument. No pampering. Play it loud over the noisy crowd. Pour yourself into every note, and the notes will come back like a thunderclap or a whisper. Play it like you mean it. Oh, the time. If you're that worried, my wife can take you to the station. Without the Domodorf? No, that's impossible. But I might be persuaded to spend the night. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think you'd much like the convertible sofa. Plus, I've got to take the boys to the orthodontist first thing. Braces, both of them. That's what I need. Oh, the, the dog's overdue for deworming. <laughs> Such an abundant life. <laughs> Here I am underfoot. 